Well, uh, it's the Menace Cooking Corner. And if you remember the last time we did the Cooking Corner, he was yep. making uh, Eggs Benedict. Eggs yeah. Menace Dick. That's ah. right. Yep. <laughs> yeah. And uh, he did a pretty good job. Sea Bass will argue that. But, yeah. I mean, for a guy who's uh, never done it before, the eggs were poached perfectly. Sure. I mean, and he's also cooking in a radio studio. Yeah. Right. So it's not <laughs> on, like a fully... On a hot plate. Yeah, like a homeless <laughs> person or like somebody camping. Right. Uh, but today it's uh, it's omelets. Nice. And these are eggs. And Rebby, you want to tell us a little bit more about that? These are eggs that... Uh, these are eggs yeah, from are the babies? chickens we hatched in the studio. Chickens, Ravy and Sammy. And they each lay an egg a day. And if you look at the eggs, they're different colors. and But because they're not sitting on them, uh, they're not sure whose egg is whose. So they don't sit uh, on them, oh, okay. right? meaning that they grab them out before they have a chance to do that? Or or they just kind of find them. Playing around? <laughs> in the, exactly. Well, that's what they say, is if because our, our chickens weren't weren't uh, hatched with a what they call a brooding hen. Correct, brooding. And they, that's, a, that's a basically a mama chicken that teaches other chickens how to act. Right. Oh, okay. <laughs> so they may just be like, wait, what the hell came out of yeah. my butt? What am yep. I doing? Yeah. That egg, was crazy. Egg, Leave egg. that there. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's basically the chicken version of the people who have babies on Toilets. Yeah, it's teen, yeah. It's teen like, mom chicken. I didn't even, right. I didn't even know. I didn't even right. know I was pregnant. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, back to prom. These are not fertilized <laughs> eggs. You're not going to see like a white speck in there. Or that yeah. blood or, thing. Right. Anything so like that. Yellow. Now, uh, so yellow. Basically, what um, Rachel was telling me, that's where they live at Rachel and Gavin's place, that um, this is basically like a chicken period. Yeah. You know, it's right. not Ugh, right. fertilized, oh, right. And, cool. and there it was. Thanks. I'd like yeah. to point out that awesome. Menace has given us a menu. I did. Yes. Uh, that was, of course, misspelled. That's all right. <laughs> I typed it up right before we got in there. My, so my, my options for cheese in my omelet include okay. ch- cheddar with two E's. Mm-hmm. <laughs> cheddar. Uh, cheddar. Yeah. Uh, Morerny Jack. M O R E R N Y Jack. Yeah. And Mexican cheese mix. Ooh. <laughs> nice. All three cheeses. <laughs> Mexican. I haven't noticed that. Oh. Well, all three cheeses like- misspelled. Like, unless you're really looking for it, like, if you just kind of, like, glance over something, right. yeah. if, mm-hmm. like, your brain will automatically you fix. fix also, uh... And we're hungry. Word, Microsoft Word didn't correct any That's of it. That's pretty funny that <laughs> That's weird. they wouldn't highlight that. Yeah. <laughs> Fail, Microsoft Word. Yeah, it's your fault. But, but, all right. but I've had some of these eggs over mm-hmm. the weekend, and yes. they were delicious. I scrambled them up, and nice. they were so, like, creamy and delicious, mm. so fluffy. I was like... Damn. Are the chickens big and are they happy? The, and they are very can you big. Touch them? They are very happy. Yeah, you can touch them. Just you can walk pick up them, to them up and, and pet them mm-hmm. and stuff. Yeah, they're having a great life. All right, nice. oh, babes. So yeah. Menace is over so there. Sweet. He's yeah. uh, he's got some omelets going right now. I do. I have to start off with the vegetarians of the group, so no cross contamination. Oh, that's uh, oh, how nice. Yeah. What's yeah. your? Uh, what's your, so he put some? He put some butter in. He... Yeah, I put some butter and some olive oil in there. Oh, a blend. Okay. And... okay. Today, uh, Bort has requested all the cheeses in there. Oh, oh he wants <laughs> every cheese. Yeah, Menace, Chef cheeses. Menace, why a blend of olive oil and butter? Uh, that's just what, uh, when I looked it up online <laughs> on YouTube, that. they suggested. Because usually it's one fat or yeah, Usually I, think, I just use well, butter. I think it's easier to uh, have it slide off the plate. But, uh, of course, we're using our favorite... Hexclad, not Hexclad. sponsor, but yeah, yeah. Hexclad. Yep. Uh, typically, love when you, Hexclad. When you blend fast, stick. it's to raise a smoke point, typically. Yeah, because that's what I'm smelling. I'm mm-hmm. smelling the olive oil. Mm. Mm. So far, yeah, well, I can see it. I mean, it's it's sliding around very easily in there, yeah. mm-hmm. which will make it obviously uh, when it comes to plating a lot easier. Yeah. Sure. And are are you gonna do, do just a uh, one fold, or there? you gonna do a tri fold? I'm gonna do a one fold. A one fold. A one fold. Yeah. All right. I can also add. So I don't want to try to get too fancy. Do you you see so blend the cheeses? Some folks will just top with the cheese. Uh, oh. I am. Topping in the middle and then folding over. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. See, I, no, he's talking about like once it's all folded over, then you put the cheese on the top right. of the entire Same. thing. I like the cheese on the inside. I like inside. the cheese on the inside. Yeah. Inside and if you, look, look, if you like to put a little extra cheese on the outside, the I wanted to, to get it, it all blend melty. it all together. That's usually how I do it. Yeah. Well, it's some other chicken news. Right. Okay. Ooh. A chicken wing restaurant in the UK, they're stealing headlines because they're making contestants sign a loss of life waiver. Okay. Before taking on hot? their wings that they've coated with Carolina Reaper peppers. Oh, <laughs> and no thanks. Oh, look, no. so you're either going to die or you'll succeed and you'll get a free meal and your name on the wall. Well, the, the British aren't known for <laughs> cooking with spicy food. Yeah. You know, Although, cooking what? with spicy. Though they have, you know, a lot of different oh. cultures there. 
What in London, at least. And one thing I noticed when my uh, when my oh, British kids on. came over to visit me, Menace, what just happened? I just removed the egg from the uh, burner here, and then I have There's it on the plate. Still some on the uh, right in the there. in the pan, like a big chunk. What happened? Yeah, I put it off to the side because it wasn't uh, cooking as much. Hmm. I got okay. The, uh, okay, part. so he finished the <laughs> egg, and now yeah. he's gonna put the cheese on top. Yeah. I agree with because yeah, some people say when you mix the cheese into your omelet, you don't really. Get the cheese taste as much and is the creaminess. Oh. Okay, so that's why I ask because some folks they either do one way or the other. Is it um, gonna melt as much though? Or is, well, unless it's gonna put, well, or are you gonna put it back in hot egg? I would think it would melt better. Actually, okay. Wouldn't it? Mm. Yes. Uh, but back okay. to the, back to the point about the British. Yeah, my uh, my my British teenage children when they came to visit me, <laughs> yep. they they wanted to go to the hot chicken joints. It is a okay. fad amongst. Mm. Chilled, but thanks to the yield internet, TikTok, etc. Okay, right. Right. like the hot ones, right? Hot ones interviews, All hot those ones, things. hot ones. Fan of Carton Arcs. Uh, the the teenagers worldwide are a fan of hot chicken. Mm. Gotcha. Mm. Oh, so you put it back. Okay, so you're putting it back it, in the uh, yeah. Oh, okay. In, in the, the pan. You took it out of the more. pan to put the cheese in it, and then put it back mm. in the pan. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's a unique. I've never seen I've that never thing. Seen I've never. I've never seen that way before, Menace. Called Menace style. It's All right, menace. Oh, style. Okay. this is your cooking it's coin. Called. Yes, yes. A la yeah. Menace. Yeah, and he's also left the other big chunk in there too. Yeah. Is it cooking better? What? The big chunk. The, the big chunk, chunk that you garbage. left in there. Oh, the away. chunk is garbage. Oh, yeah. oh that's, garbage. Garbage. that's refuse. Okay. Too focused right. on garbage. Right. Focus right. on <laughs> this beautiful. Right. Omelet well, right we've got a beautiful yeah, omelet. Yeah. Stop focusing on the garbage. <laughs> yeah. well, I didn't know if he had a plan for because he left it in there. I thought maybe it's called throwing it in the garbage. Yeah. Well, maybe I thought you would have like if it was going to be thrown away that you would have. Okay. No. How about this perfectly done omelet? Is that all cheese or what's in there? Bam. Just cheese. That's for the vegetarians. Every flavor of cheese is in there. It is. Yeah. Uh, it's hard to screw up eggs and cheese. Yeah, let me see. That's very yeah. tasty. That's there you go. Let me see. Let me see. It's pretty good looking. I've never. Okay. Look, there's there. He's got some. He's got some toasted uh, nice accent looking. on the uh, a light browning on the, on the top. Yeah. Yeah. A yep. light yep. browning. Because that's, that's the two, the two big ways you can screw up an omelet: overcook and right. breaking. Yeah. Now you can yep. also see the uh, the ooze of cheese in the one in the oh. one corner. See, that's what we like: oozing cheese. That's, yeah, what, yeah, I was, yeah. that's what I was talking about. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. All right, there you go. Nice. Yeah, Four. You, you've got you. a great looking omelet in yeah. here, buddy. One for one. Yeah. Please yeah. come grab yeah. it. Come on, grab it. Board. Give yeah. us a uh, taste uh, yes. review. Well, come yes. on, board. He has to run the board. You got to oh. get it. You got to oh, get it while it's hot. All right. Well, I guess no. Ravi will have to go. Yeah. Hold on. Caroline. Caroline's running in there. Have you ever seen the videos where they take the scrambled eggs, they put it in, and instead of making an omelet, they kind of hold it with a spatula. Give it a third of a turn, hold it again, another third, another third, another yeah. third, and it kind of makes it look like a flower. Mm -hmm. oh, it's pretty man. awesome. Yeah, I have I want to learn how to do that. All right, so, uh, so Bort from is, Bort. is digging in. He's got, a, he's got a bite there. Yeah, also, if you notice any kind of difference with the eggs themselves, being that they're farm fresh, and also yeah. Menace's technique is seasoning. They do taste sweeter. Okay. okay. They taste sweeter, and the cheese method? Very good. It all melted. Like yep. it may look like it's not melting, but the moment you get a bite into your mouth, it melts immediately. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's very delicious. All right, nice yes. work. All right, wow. all right, way Menace to go, is, Menace. Menace is one for one. Be out here. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> also, somebody on the text said going back to Seabass, uh, looking at his uh, his menu options. My Marerni Jack Cheese. <laughs> right. Yeah, where there was a bunch of misspellings. Says I imagine that Menace's Microsoft Word has given up on spell check at this point. <laughs> Maybe. It's too exhausted. It Forget it. Hey, shout out to the Mexicans out there. Yeah. Yeah. Holla. Holla, Mexicans. <laughs> all right. Well, the uh, the omelet station continues. Menace, it smells which, nice. Which one are you working on now? Uh, another slightly vegetarian meal, oh. unfortunately. Okay. Okay. Sorry. You should have made them split that one. So what does that this mean? should be like a uh, option on the next hire. Are you vegetarian? Yeah. <laughs> yes. We, we have enough of them. You're out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. You're messing up our omelet station. Yeah. Are you are you cooking the veggies before putting them in the omelet? Some folks some folks will prefer, you know, a sauteed onion. Yes. Uh -huh. so that's to my a, method. If I'm making a yep. if I'm making an omelet, any kind of the uh, vegetables and stuff will all go in the pan with a little bit of touch of yeah. just a touch of oil. Well, just sorry. to just to I, cook them up into into guy. I don't have enough burners to do that, so. No, I would you just do it like in the same pan, and then you take your egg mixture, you just pour it right top. in there. Right, right. Give it, yes. 40, yeah. give it forty-five seconds or a minute, which is a yeah, long. Yeah. Then, like, like, what he's saying. Again, yeah. you guys are burning me because uh, when we were first talking about this, you were talking about how you want all the folding, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, we were just asking questions. These, these are not exclusive items. You yeah. can do both. Yeah, you can do. You can do both. Oh, oh, I thought you wanted to see if I could do the folding one. Oh well, no. I it's just that was the, uh, the yeah. I, I would like the to challenge. see it. I would like to see. I didn't know what your plating method was going to be. Okay. I didn't know uh, what you were planning on. All right. 
There was a bunch of different ways. To, yeah, there yeah. Was, there's a there, hundred different ways to make an omelet. I yeah. thought that was the way that you guys wanted. Right, Greg was just talking about the flour. Yeah, about the flour one. The flour yeah. one, or it's you so could pretty. just try fold. Nice. You could do the right. The single fold. Yeah, just the fold Japanese over. style with chopsticks. Yeah. You ever seen that? Oh, mm-hmm. I, I have not oh, seen yeah. that. Mm-hmm. But yeah, we will be grilling some meat once this one is done. All right, some more Woody Show. Menace's Cooking Corner, the omelet station this morning here on the Woody Show. Hang on. Menace is working on uh, omelets over there. It does smell Furiously. nice. Furiously. We'll get back to nice. uh, the Menace Cooking Corner here in just a moment. Menace's Cooking Corner. He's over there yeah. doing omelets for everybody. How many omelets so far? You what, This is uh, your just third, about fourth? To finish up the third for gravy. Hey, oh. Can you imagine if you worked at a resort? The line would be so long. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, those lines okay, are always super long. Well, res- uh, resort has a lot more, you know, to work with. Big grills. Well, what, what he mentioned uh, during the break is, do you need to turn that heat up, dog? Because it was... Well, he, he no. did. It's moving slowly. The heat is up. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, he did the one. And he made a, he made a, um, a vegetarian omelet for... For it and then Caroline. Yeah, but for Caroline, who she's back to eating meat. Nice. Well, she's right. eating she went back. chicken. That's meat. But she's not eating like bacon and so? sausage well, and that kind of stuff. What, what is that? What is that? Right? Uh, that's that's not true. Oh no, she's she's, she's gone full trader. Yeah, yeah. Oh, full <laughs> trader. <laughs> full trader. Yeah. I'm, I'm giving her nothing but crap in the back now. Now speaking Sorry. of meat, uh, Sammy walked in during the break and said, "What? It stinks. It stinks well, like, it bacon like bacon all the way on the hallway oh, too. Wow. You mean it smells so great. great. You mean it smells Yuck. great? Oh. Yuck. This is what uh, Menace wants this place to smell like all yeah, the time. All the time. Right. Mm-hmm. Good morning. Well, Smoked meat. All right. Maybe so outside. <laughs> so is that uh, is that rabies omelet? It's there? rabies. Yeah. Yay. What's in there again? It is cheddar, uh, sausage, and a little bit of pepper. Okay. Ooh. Pepper like the. Uh, because like like, on, on our on our menu, like bell pepper or yeah. like it, I would pepper, say, or salt I, and pepper. I circled uh, pepper. every vegetable. Okay. So no vegetables in there. No. No. Because I circled peppers, <laughs> onions, no. and mushrooms. <laughs> check your and eyeballs. And I circled bacon. Oh. Wait, hold on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. let's let's double check. Oh, is, what do you can you verify? Is that this my, is Sammy's. Is, that's yeah. Oh, it's Sammy's. My yeah, bad. Yeah, Sammy's. Okay, Cheddar, then I'm sausage. cooking Sammy's. And and pepper. I was like, that's nothing I circled. (laughs) (laughs) Look, I know it's not exactly cooking, but paying attention to details, like the person's name is. (laughs) Ravy is. uh, Yes. What did I circle? Mexican cheese. Uh, Yes, the Mexican Mexican cheese. (laughs) Uh, Bacon, Mm -hmm. and you circled the bell peppers, onions, mushrooms, and salt and pepper. Nice. Which is rare. You don't you don't see salt and pepper typically. You're up next, then, Ravy. Thank you. Because typically that's like just left on the table. Well, or, or in, like the salt is included in it's the. D- it's just. Well, just throw some in. Yes, yeah. board. I just wanted to give you guys an update because I had to run out of here and inhale my omelet in five seconds. Uh, it is so sweet from the eggs and the premix. Like it doesn't need anything. Oh. It is really, really good. Maybe even a little too rich. What premix? Oh. Like what do you mean? What's like in like the... the olive oil base and oh, the butter. butter. Uh. But like uh, the eggs themselves, like it doesn't need anything at all. Okay. So That's all what right. I say. But five stars. Fire. All right. Five stars. All right. All right. So Sammy just got her omelet. Do you want to try it and let us let us know? Oh, didn't I gotta get grab any, a fork. Didn't get any utensils. You got some utensils? Oh, I use your hands. Fine. Doesn't matter. Fine. All right, Vaughn can set you up with some utensils. Now, the thing that she says stinks so bad, like that's her yeah, omelet. Yeah, we haven't yeah. even cooked bacon yet. Yeah, yeah, Sammy. Liar. So that would be that would yeah. be the sausage that yeah. I was cooking. Yeah, it doesn't look like the type of sausage I was anticipating. What kind of sausage? What is kind of sausage it? is this, Menace? Uh, it is applewood smoked uncured oh, okay. hams. No, no, no. Oh, that's no. the ham. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I don't think the chef knows what this basic is, things are. Uh, no, he does. Breakfast sausage. Breakfast Vermont sausage. Maple syrup. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. that is a, that is a breakfast sausage. I mean, mm. look, it's Sammy pork. made a face. Yeah. Well, I pork. mean, I haven't tried it. Then yet. don't eat it. Throw it away. It's not like it's, I'll, I will try it. Here's the thing. It's not <laughs> like Thank different. Thank you, Menace. I yeah. appreciate it. It's not like different parts of the pig will smell different when it's yeah. cooked. It's pork. It's. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> We're like waiting on you to take a bite. Yeah. It's disconcerting to me that the egg is described as sweet. I don't know why. Really? <laughs> yeah. It sounds strange. It's really good. I don't. I wouldn't call it sweet though. It's cheesy, mm-hmm. creamy, creamy, very creamy. Okay, maybe that's. Yeah, it's really good. It's light, fluffy. That's your grandbaby. Oh, babe, it's delicious. Yeah, that came out of the butt of well your chicken. Well done, your chicken. Sammy. Oh, uh, one thing I'd asked last the week, chicken, Ravy, since these are uh, yes off the ground, were these? Washed I washed. I washed every one of them. Okay, because yeah, personally. Because while people will say, yeah, the inside of the egg doesn't get into the pan, when you're touching right. things, that's I how. washed right, 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 all yeah. of them Crack personally. Them. Right. Like they had, a few had like specks of hay on them and, you <laughs> okay. know, uh-huh. you know stuff like that. Goat crap. They're, now, all, they're uh, all cleaned. How are like the uh, the fillings? 
Like uh, how's the sausage? The sausage. How's that mapley sausage? She kicked yeah. it aside. I, uh, yeah, I've taken it out so far. <sighs> yeah. Well, you gotta try. It's, try it, it is I'll breakfast it. sausage. And Sammy, but and I encourage this for all of you. When you don't like something, could you tell us why you don't like bacon as opposed to just yuck? Because that doesn't that doesn't give us any insight. But that is the reason. What like I what? Mean, a, what more do you want? But what about bacon <laughs> is what, not yeah, appealing? The, the smokiness, like, the saltiness, yeah. like, the what texture, is the meatiness. Is it too fatty? Oh, she's making oh. a face. I mean, it's okay. It's this. It's sweet. Okay. That's the maple. All right. Probably. Yeah. Right. I don't. I mean, I don't really like it. I'll continue to pick it out. Okay. okay. But yeah, but the, what? So what? Is what is it about bacon that you don't like? Is it the texture? Is it the like? It's what, the taste and the smell. The so taste and the smell. What part of that? What part of that? I mean, I can't stand the smell. It makes me want to vomit. Like, like well, I don't know what else to tell you. The 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 like, <laughs> I mean, she doesn't know what she's reacting to. <sighs> yeah. I get it. Yeah, I mean, I, you, can I you explain it. Like, it? like when I say I don't like oysters, oh, it's the it's because it tastes right. Like, yeah. I yeah. don't like oysters the ocean. because of the texture. And it's, yeah, there's like a gummy, gross. Like I just gave you. It's mostly the smell, though. That's what I've always said. I don't it's like the smell. smell. So, the, so the smell ruins it. So the but it makes it so it doesn't taste good to her. But right, it's a smell? very distinct smell. It has its own mm. smell. What would you say bacon smells like other than bacon? Smokiness, the meatiness. Yeah, but there's things right. that like no, smell but I like bad, but when you taste them, they're good. It's just something, it's odd because it's so uni- universally loved. That I smell. Yeah. Right? yeah. Woody likes the smell of coffee, doesn't even like coffee. I hate coffee. But he likes but the I richness. The smell of it. This, yeah. the, again, the burnt aroma, yeah. the roastedness right. of coffee. These are words that describe things. Right. Yeah. Well, the nastiness of bacon. <laughs> the nastiness. <laughs> and now you've heard the Woody Show. I'm Woody. That's Ravy. Hey, yo. There's Greg Gore. Hey, good morning. Menace is here. He's doing the cooking corner this yeah. morning. Still making omelets over there. Yep. Which one are you up to? I'm on Greg's now. Oh, man. Greg's. Now, what is, uh, what's in yours, Greg? I got cheddar, ham, I believe onions and peppers. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, nice. You did onions and mushrooms. Or all the veggies, yeah. 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 Okay. Oh, all right. Yeah. So, there's, uh, remind me. Uh, <laughs> thank you. He almost panicked. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> my God. I made this wrong. All right. There's, uh, there's Menace, Chef Menace. Yep. With the omelet station this morning, doing a fine job. I got my omelet. It is yep. delicious. Yep. Yeah, good. Yeah. All right, she bass is around here somewhere. This. Sammy's here. Morning. Phones are open. We have to send uh, Morgan home. Yeah, I know she's missing out. Our current employee of the month. We have to send her home. Yep. Once again, she came in like I saw her as we arrived this morning, uh-huh. she, and I am like, hey. Sick? Good morning. And I thought something I was like, hey, what's the, I thought something maybe happened on the way to yeah. work or whatever. I go, what's the what's the matter? Well, you could just tell by looking. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. she was like, hey, you know, like just right. being goofy like she normally is. And I said, uh, hey, what's what's going on? Right. She goes, oh, I've been throwing up all night. I'm like, uh, why are you why here? You, why are you standing in front of me? Brown bottle. Was, I think <laughs> I think it was food poisoning. What? And oh. she said that she had had eggs, eggs and oh. Greg's favorite sweet potato. Mm, oh, can't but get enough. It wouldn't have been because she said that she got sick pretty like pretty soon after having those eggs, and she said they weren't old, they weren't you know, mm-hmm. but uh, God God knows what's going on. But she is one that she will come in puking. She's like, I brought some bags with me, so if she had to throw <laughs> yeah. up in the studio, I'm like, why are you here? Uh-huh. I said, when was the last time you threw up? She said, on my drive here. Oh yeah, on the drive in. Oh yeah. What are you Look, doing girl fever. Barfing. Those are two things. If you are either or both, you stay home. You stay home. What about coughing? No. Not coughing. No. You coughed for like seven months. Yeah, but I got yeah. that from yeah. Greg. I yeah, got that gonna... from Greg, and I didn't have to have that from Greg if he'd stay okay, home. Well, if you had just but gone to the grocery I store on a certain for day. I checked COVID. I checked for fever. Right. And I had neither. And I'm feeling a lot better. No oh, good. I d- uh, that cough is going to linger like sea basses for seven months. Because yeah. like, that's oh, yeah. just like, the way it is. It's months long. Like Greg's. Right. Like Not mine. mine. Yeah, well, Seabass finally recovered. Uh, oh, I'm still. I still hear him. Coughing. I may have to go. T- I'm thinking about going to the doctor. Do you because have long cough? Not yeah. Uh, yeah. Long haul cough. Yeah, for sure. And it's not even cough. It's like sometimes I like. Is it clap cough? If it's morning, and I yawn too much, mm-hmm. I'll yeah. like gag on my own uvula. Oh wow! <laughs> so I think That's I have hot. a lingering mm. infection. Okay. Thanks, to Greg. Uvula. Oh, it's all me. Um, but yeah, well, there's not a lot of there's not a lot of backup plans here. Okay. You know, it's, there's not right. a lot of. You know, it's not it's not Home Depot. There's 15 people who can do your job. Right. Well, True. also, like you know, you can't be calling out every time somebody's got a sniffle or a cough. That's just, I mean, that's not realistic. Well, yeah, exactly. It's not unless yeah. you're, it, you know, yeah, fever, and, barfing. Yeah. Okay. Those I are the parameters. For both every day. Right.
<laughs> uh, attendance at this year's NFL draft at an all-time high. They over, were out. Over 770,000 people were in Detroit to see it. I know, and so many options in Detroit, you know? Uh, the NFL will allow players to wear the Guardian caps during the regular season games this year. Who's going to be the first puss? Yeah. Oh, my God. Who's going to be the pioneer okay, of that? So, <laughs> pioneer I, puss. I, I won't be surprised to see people wearing it. But it's gonna be how people wear. What were those like? Uh, those big red boots that people were rocking for like ten seconds. Oh, that's that's right. Right. Those, or to be like those giant baseball caps that you saw like oh, a yeah. couple of the NBA so you're guys wearing. They're gonna do it to be trendy. Yes, they're gonna no do it way. to be. Yeah, they're gonna do it to stand out. You're gonna get like some mid-level I guy. D- I'm disagreeing with that. Yeah. You don't think? No, it's purely for safety. So the guardian caps are. They're not required though. They to are wear not. Them. No. These those uh, those padded helmets. They got the uh, the pads on the outside. They're required for certain positions to wear during training camp. Right. Yeah. But if one of them said Supreme on it, then I would agree with uh-huh. that. Getting. Well, yeah, the, the, brand, yes. the branding opportunities are enormous. True. Now, the, well, to- there was always those guys like, um, and their names are escaping me now. But and it was a different time, obviously, when when I was a kid in the in the late '80s, early '90s. You know, when uh, I forget who the baseball player was that like. He would wear a batting helmet. He was a first baseman. Oh yeah. You remember, you remember who I'm talking? I want to yeah. say like, a team where the team colors were blue. Just my, all the time. All the time. Right. He always wore a batting helmet. My friends and I would always make fun of him. Yeah, you puss. Like what a pussy. Uh, Protecting yeah. my brain. You know, because it was also the same. Like at this time, it's different now. I, I don't but know. Uh, you know, yeah. if you were a kid in in you know my era, and you were wearing a helmet to ride your bike. Uh-huh. Or anything like that. You oh, yeah. were well, such a pussy. <laughs> yeah. Right. It was embarrassing. Yeah. Uh, you just now, wouldn't do it. Now I, I can't imagine riding a bike without one. Yeah. I, 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 I don't know who that guy is, but I do have a funny story about him because, you know, I'm a big old school A's fan. Uh-huh. And so Ricky, Ricky Henderson gets on a new team and he sees a guy wearing the helmet, like what you're talking uh-huh. about. He's like, yeah, I used to have a guy on my team that uh, would wear a helmet just like that. And he's like, Ricky, we played on the same team together. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <laughs> this is the same guy that didn't cash his million dollar check. Right, right, right. Ricky wow. Anderson. So uh, uh, this is more recent, but Alex Torres no. wore a padded helmet pitching. He looked weird. God, who was it? Going through now, here. It's, yeah, it's going to drive me crazy. I, I was noticing this too. Softball players wear, even fielders, pitchers, they wear, wear like little face well, guards. They do. Yeah. I, guess they do? I, I guess they're saying that women are too slow to catch that's what it, line Like drives. a line drive back to the mound? Because yeah. yeah. that's all just Yikes. reaction, right? Yeah. Yeah. I guess so maybe their reaction slow. time is slower, Oof. or they care about their face more. And that. Yeah, but I've seen a lot of the softball but if players. I was they an shouldn't. NFL <laughs> player that's been concussed in the past, I would consider this. The guardian yeah. cap. Yeah. It's so dumb looking. Oh, I it is no. hella dumb. Looking. It kind of gives me trepophobia too. It does. It almost looks like a because brain. Because of the pattern. I think yeah. it's dumb. It looks like the Nintendo version of football. Yeah. It's just <laughs> yeah, like very like weird. If Nintendo had a football game. All right, here we go. Uh, that's what the players look like. John Olerud. John Olerud. That's the him. Fir- he wore a yeah, pl- yeah. Wore a helmet while playing first base. For who? Who was he playing he with? He was playing for, blue? it looks like the Mariners. Oh, uh, the Mariners. There you go. Yeah, that's blue. Yeah. Uh, blue Jays? Uh, it says not, uh, batting helmets were not mandatory until 1971. Ow. Oh, oh. Yeah, but this guy, he would wear he would wear the uh, the batting helmet playing defense. Yeah, he wore it for the Blue Jays, the uh, Mets, the uh, he wore a ton of different players. Seattle, yeah. Yeah. Boston. Screw that guy. <laughs> yeah, huh. puss. Oh yeah, he was he, he's such a pussy. Well, when did when did when did helmets and face masks first start in hockey? Because that that's the one where like I don't care how fast no you are. I don't care how fast you are. They still don't have to wear a face mask in hockey. Like, Eventually play, they like, will. Um, I would wear a suit of armor. I would wear a face mask <laughs> and I would wear a neck guard. If yeah, I was see my in the NHL. and I'd wear a mattress. My son, <laughs> my son who plays ice hockey. He's very upset because I guess starting in August or September this year, they're requiring all junior hockey players to wear the neck guards. Oh, you've got to have that neck guard? Yeah, and he's like, oh, it's going to look so stupid. I'm like, everybody's Everyone's wearing it. it. Yeah, you, you know? can all look dumb together. Yeah, like everybody's going to look stupid together. Yep. Um, but like it, this is in reaction to the uh, the former Penguin right. who was playing overseas. For the and- British British League. Yeah, took died. a skate right to the neck and died. Right. Which Blood out, well, obviously died. sucks, but like... It's, that's a one in a billion chance. For sure, but I'd rather have it on. Well, then why not wear, again, like Greg's saying, suit of armor. Yeah, yeah but I'm saying like when you're talking about kids, though, I'd rather the kids be... And the neck guard's not dumb looking. It's just like a... It's just something... It's like a turtleneck. It, yeah. yeah. Not even like a turtleneck. What? Yeah. 
I've run out of order slips. I oh, I've got one for you, Menace. Bass and Woody. I've got. I would like to, uh, Morarney Jack. All right. <laughs> Ham, <laughs> onions, <laughs> mushrooms, and then a little S and P. Uh, can you bring it to me? Uh, uh, yep. Oh, and Menace, Menace I needs took, to see it. I yeah. took a bite. Really good. Oh, Greg, it got yours. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Nice. It's. It turned out great. Thank you. Yeah. It does smell very. Woody, nice are you there. unwilling to eat an omelet? Well, no, I'm not unwilling okay. to eat an omelet. You just haven't filled out your sleep. Yeah, I just haven't figured out the. Uh, I haven't, I haven't filled out the uh, the order form yet. Okay. Going to power through the brown eggs? Well, yeah, because I'm not eating the shell. I'm saying, but if I'm at the store and I see the you know, brown eggs or the white, I'm not I'm not buying the brown ones. Yeah, You're not eating in, no shells. Keep this in mind when considering Woody's food food opinions. Well, I'm just saying, I'm just not buying their. I'm, they, I know they taste the same. Right. I've had brown eggs before. I'm just not buying You're the just brown not eggs. Not buying them because uh, I was like, oh, oh, Woody didn't fill out a thing. Is he not <laughs> eating these? Because they're no, brown. no. I've eaten well, brown eggs before. I just that will not be my choice if I see them at the store. I don't put know. Some, uh, just put supposed some to be goat white. in with uh, goat meat in with Woody's no. place. Right. Oh hell no! Then I'm definitely not eating it. <laughs> All right, we're going to take a uh, quick break. we got some more Woody's show, more omelets coming up. Mm-hmm. These are good. It smells yeah. lovely. Somebody said, uh, came in late to the omelet segment, but did you guys already talk about the perfect omelet, which is in a plastic bag that is BPA-free. Oh, Ugh. thank God. You crack two eggs inside, add all of your ingredients, and, uh, you know, cooked bacon, onions, other vegetables, peppers, whatever you want, and uh, you take the air out, and you let the bag boil in the water for 13 minutes. After 13 minutes, let it cool. Open the bag carefully, and there's a perfect omelet dumped on your plate. Wow. Well, sous vide, yeah, that's all that is. Sure. Um, you know, or but you don't get the nice grill marks and the nice uh, yeah. room full of great smells. Yeah, but isn't that the same way with uh, like? Because I know a friend of mine, man, he loves making steak that sous vide right. yeah. steak, but because you, you don't get any of that either, oh. right? No. Well, you some people will do that. They'll sous vide the steak so it's fully cooked all the way the same temperature through. Right. And then and they'll then they'll shh, they'll finish like it. Like a sear it or something. Like they'll sear it, but mm-hmm. yeah. But what they're talking about is basically making egg cups. Right. Too. So oh. I was like, how can we complicate making an omelet? Yeah, let's, and let's more. let's create another dirty thing that right. you can't yeah. wash a bag. <laughs> right. You know, uh, Gordon Ramsay will you know critique people's dishes that they make. Right. And there's this one guy. He's swearing to make this butter steak. And you take a ribeye, mm-hmm. oh, thirteen oh, sticks of butter. You melt that oh, down. Oh yes. Yeah. Oh. You put For it one steak. You put it in a pan. Right, you melt down the butter and you add in, you know, uh, some kind of herbs and you know right. different seasoning to the butter, and then you take this perfectly good ribeye and you basically boil it, you basically poach it what? in the butter. Nah. Right? Okay. And okay. then, okay. and then you take it out and then you sear it after that. Okay. And this guy, and so Ramsey is like, "Oh, you donut!" <laughs> Yelling at this guy, he's like. He goes, you know, like a ribeye is already 40% fat. It's all marbled. And you're boiling it in butter. He goes, what's the point? Yeah. Uh, Making it more buttery. Fat on fat on fat. (laughs) He goes, goes, what's the point? He goes, it's going to come out. And then, of course, the guy starts taking the the steak out of the pan. He goes, it's going to be gray. gray. There it is. (laughs) He goes, see? See? He goes, ugh, unappealing and blah, 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 blah. He goes, you've (laughs) overcooked it, you donut. (laughs) And then (laughs) the guy's like putting it in the pan to sear it. He's like, ah, and even more cooking. Oh wow! And it, uh, you know, look, you could put butter on it. People do that all the time—the maitre d' butter or whatever. Oh yeah, and I, that's fine. I forget what do you call it when you cook something on its own fat? Call it confit. Confit oh, with oh, fat. Oh, with oh, fat. Oh, oh, fat. All right. So uh, Metis is wrapping up the uh, the omelet station there. He's making himself uh, one final omelet. Yeah, I'm making myself one. Big success. Well, yeah, you, you need to make yourself yeah. one. Yeah, Ooh, really good. What are you putting in yours, Metis? Uh, I'm doing like uh, the kitchen sink. Pretty oh nice. Everything. The kitchen little, sink. Nice. The mix grill. The garbage plate of, uh, <laughs> yeah, a little of bit omelets. Better. And Menace did figure out how to uh, saute the veggies first. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, what do you think, Seabass? Uh, well, mine is I had uh, the cheese and the ham in there. Yeah. And that's all I'm tasting. But it's good. Okay. But I'm what? not getting that the eggs are any different necessarily because it's just being overpowered by the saltiness and the creaminess. Okay, well, hey, that's okay with me. Yeah. I'll be all right. Because it's a brown egg. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. A little bit of onion in there, which is nice. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, yeah. I, I, I thought something. Okay, he's just cracking eggs. Just cracking. And, oh, yang. Cracking his eggs. All right, so uh, at the end of another month, we have to uh, get some votes in. Who do you think should be the Woody Show Employee of the Month? Uh, listener nominations on the text over to 22987. And uh, I'll get all your thoughts today, and then, uh, and then tomorrow we'll announce the official winner on the last day of April mm-hmm. 2024. Who should be the April Woody Show Employee? Employee of the month. We'll start with you, Ravy. Well, I'm going back to the well and I'm nominating Bort for employee of the month. 
uh, we had a vacation week here in April, and I had to come in here to print something because I don't have a printer at home. And so I come in here and Bort's in here. And this is, you know, very insider, very behind the scenes, but Bort's job is kind of reliant on other people to put, you know, the commercial logs in the computer and right. the music in the computer so he can do his job. Okay. Now, because that person wasn't on vacation, those logs were going in whenever. Oh. And so Bort technically did not get any days off. Okay. Because of the untimely manner yeah. in which those logs went in. So I was like, right. Dude. Now, somebody, by the way, somebody has to be here at some point. You know, right, right. We right. all can't be gone because then nothing runs. Everybody. But I, I do know what you're saying. That's a pain in the but ass. But they do, you know, they work out the schedules. Right. So Sammy gets days off. So does yeah. Morgan, Caroline, right. Bort. I got it. All right. So uh, Ravy's vote is for Bort. Uh, Greg Gorey. Yeah. I mean, Bort is a solid nominee every month, sure. honestly. Um, so that said, this month, though, I'm going to go with Menace. All right. Um, he he's, making a a <laughs> very, he's got a very timely last-minute nomination right here. Is that right. he just made you an omelet? Well, he made the omelet, uh, and I thought <laughs> I thought it was really nice how he gave everybody a menu to choose. Like, uh -huh. your, I thought that was nice. It, it's like, Sweet, like ah, babe. It's, it was yeah. very ah, babe. Little touches like that. There's also some behind-the-scenes stuff that he does that is too boring to talk about. But sure. stuff that I would not want to do myself that okay. he's always doing. Going out and about and whatnot, yep. right. you know, having meetings. It's like, no thanks, but he'll do it. <laughs> you know. You. So this month I'm going with Menace. Thank right. you. Uh, Menace, who gets your nomination? Uh, well, I, sorry, Greg. I know this pains you, but I'm going to vote for uh, Seabass again. I always oh, vote that for. That doesn't pain me. I do, <laughs> I do vote for Seabass because. Like one of us might have like a good bit for the whole month that mm -hmm. like right. people really enjoyed, but consistently bringing new content all month long is okay. always a person that I'm gonna uh, vote for. Okay, so Seabass. Okay. All right, Seabass. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm gonna mm, Menace is up there because of the obviously you know making omelets, which is nice. Sure, yeah. sure, sure. But Ravy <laughs> helped with that too. She got the, all the eggs. That's of course, right. I helped by raising those chickens. Sure. I'm gonna throw. <laughs> I'm not gonna sugar. nominate Bort because yeah, he hasn't had a vacation. Oh, since he had one last month. Um, oh. He was out for that whole first week of March. I will. say... I'm gonna go with. No, actually, I'm gonna go with Menace. I'm gonna go okay. with Menace. Grazie, Because he, uh, <laughs> it's, it's also it's not this month, but behind the scenes, we were talking about somebody to go run the uh, the Burt Kreischer 5K. Right. I was like, Menace needs to do it. He's like, uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, because that'd be the funniest. Right. And he's uh, he's usually down for most things that are funny. Okay, uh, Sammy. I'm also going with Menace. Oh, thank He's you. done a lot this month. It seems behind the scenes, like Greg said, with the meetings and everything. He also did his interview with uh, the Dream Lady. He's doing his cooking station. He's. I feel like he's had a lot of project-based things this month, along with other things. Menace is my choice. Thank yeah. You. What a job you've got, though, too. Think about it. We asked yeah. you to get high. Yeah, I got high. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yep, yep, that's yep. right. Make food. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Go to meetings, which, yeah. by the way, make him money. Uh, accomplish a dream of having an omelet station in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. Yeah, it's really yeah good. but maybe you didn't want to get high. No, that I understand. Day. I, I understand. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. let's, um, let's go to uh, Bort and Caroline. Bort, who gets your, uh, your vote this month? Uh, I'll go. It would be between Greg and Menace. Greg has like this. Uh, just cons consistent positivity that he's had, like ever since the year started, that is very admirable and just gung ho for everything that we do. Okay. Uh, Menace, yeah. I'll probably go Menace though because he has gone his breakfast at least three times this month. Oh, that is and true. Made it. He's yeah. buying breakfast so, as well. If, you know, I'm gonna say Menace for that. All right, and then uh, who gets Caroline's vote? I was also gonna go with Menace. He got Chick Fil A, and as a new chicken eater, that was that was awesome. That was clutch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, Good stuff. what is with you all of a sudden just abandoning being a, oh. a vegetarian or vegan? What were you, vegan or vegetarian? Um, I was pescatarian, so I ate fish, but I recently ate turkey and chicken, and I had pork like twice. Yeah, but like, what made that happen? Like, what was the uh, what was that um, change just about? Just trying to eat more protein. I probably get not a lot of protein when I wasn't eating meat. And so, yeah, that's the okay. main reason. So principles, schmincibles, you know? Um, well, I, I won't eat cows. Cows are my favorite. So that's where I draw <laughs> no the line. No cows. Yeah, <laughs> that's where my line in the sand is. Yeah. Exactly. Until right. it isn't. All right. And then uh, Morgan, as we already told you, she uh, she had to leave out early because she was barfing all morning. Right. Well, I'll, uh, I'll hit her up and I'll get her vote. But, uh, yeah, there are your, uh, your votes, everybody, your nominees on the text over to 22987. And tomorrow we will we will award the Woody Show Employee of the Month for the month of April.
2024. And they will wow. win $69. And yeah, oh, the winner of right. $69 and, and a, a commemorative plaque. That's right. That is theirs I to mean, keep. I mean, that's the big deal right Yeah, there. where it is proudly displayed in the office. Mm-hmm. Right now, Morgan's is up there. She'll get to take that bad boy home tomorrow whenever she returns. All right. From her bout with illness. All right, more Woody Shows next. Hang on. <laughs> 